Hi. Hello. Can you see me? I'm right here. Here, let me get closer. There, can you see me now? In this video, I'll show you how to make a best A2 system pinning chart for the IC core lock using just a pen and a piece of paper. Also, I'll show you how to enter this information into a spreadsheet software program like OpenOffice or Microsoft Excel, which will make your calculations faster and more accurate. Okay, let's get started. I'll be using the A2 system total stack value of 23. This is what your pinning chart should look like if you use the same information as I did for my master key, control key, and change key. Now let's find the bottom pin. So in chamber 7 we have 2 and 4, lowest number is 2. Chamber 6 we have 6 and 8, lowest number is 6. Chamber 5, 4 and 6 is 4. Chamber 4, 4 or 6 is 4. Chamber 3, 5 and 7, and we have 5 the lowest number. Chamber 2, 2 and 4, and 2 is the lowest number. Chamber 1, we have 6 and 2, and 2 is the lower number. These are the bottom pins. Here's how we find our master pins. We just take our master key bidding information and subtract it from our change key bidding information. This chart is self-explanatory. Like for um, sample chamber 7, 4 minus 2 is 2, and we have chamber 6, um, 6 minus 8 is 2, and then chamber 4, we have 4 from 6 is 2, all the way down to chamber 1, 6 minus 2 is 4. And these are our master pins. Let's find the control pins, but first we look at our chart and it says control, where it says control key, we have blue numbers. So let's look at chamber 7. Where we got the 9 from, we added 3, which came from the control key, plus 10, minus our master pins and bottom pin, where the 2 and the 2 came from. And we have chamber 6, where we got the 7, the 5 came from the control key, plus 10, minus our master pins and bottom pin of chamber 6 from previous chart. Next we have chamber 5 where we got the 8 from is the 4 from the control key on our chart above that's third position um, plus 10 minus our bottom pin and our master pin which we got from our previous chart. And the same for chamber 4. The 7 we got 7 from we took the 3 from position 4 on our control key add 10 subtracted our master pin and our bottom pin which leaves us 7. It's hard to explain but I think you can catch on just by looking at it. We got position 3 um, the 2 came from the control key you see up above plus 10 minus our um, master pin and bottom pin from our previous chart and the same goes for chamber 2 and 1. Let's find our driver pins. Using the control key information on our chart above, we start with chamber 7. We take 23 minus the 3 from our control key plus 10 equals 10. Now chamber 6, we take 23 minus the 5 from the control key plus 10 will give us 8. Chamber 5, same thing. We take 23 minus 4 from the control key plus 10 will give us 9. And the same for chamber 4, 23 minus 3 from the control key plus 10 will give us 10. And same for chamber 3, 2, and 1. Those are our driver pins. Here is what the master key looks like with the pins. Notice the shear line. Here is the control key with the pins. Notice the shear line. Here is the change key with the pins. Notice the shear line. Now let's set up the spreadsheet program. Please enter the information that I have here and when we get to the end it will say we're done. For example, cell number A3 enter chamber number. For cell number A4 enter master key. For cell number A5 enter change key. For cell A6 
enter bottom key and then we go to the next page for cell number A9 enter the driver pins and then A10 control pins and then follow the instructions for each page you'll be entering formulas along the way you can stop the tape to enter the formulas and then when you come to the end it will say we are done and then I'll show you the uh, spreadsheet program <laughs> chorus in the show. Life is just a bowl of cherries. Don't take it serious. It's too mysterious. At eight each morning I have got a date to take my plunge around the Empire State. You'll admit it's not the berries in a building that's so tall. There's a guy in the show the girls love to kiss Gets thousands of beaks Just for crooning like this Life is just a bowl of Ah, nuts So live and laugh at it all Okay, we're all done. This is what the spreadsheet program looks like with no numbers, just plain and simple. Now, let's just enter some numbers in. Uh, for my master key, I just entered random numbers. 3, 7, 8, 5, 4, 6, 3. Again, I'm just entering random numbers for my change key um, four six five two five seven four
now we have a problem. If you look down at the master pins, you'll see that there's ones. That's not good. There should be either zeros or two and above. There's no one master pin. So we need to change the information in our change key. And, and here's the results. Now you will see master pins that are two or above, which is good. So because we're doing this manually and not with a computer, like, you know, store-bought program for calculating the um, our pins, um, you'll have to make sure that the master pins are not ones. They have to be two or above or zero.